we are given that a x1 and x2 are in geometric progression with a common ratio r therefore x1 is equal to a times r and x2 is equal to a times r square similarly we are given that b y1 and y2 are also in geometric progression with common ratio s therefore y1 is equal to b times s and y2 is equal to b times s square now the area of the triangle in terms of the coordinates of the triangle is equal to half times the determinant the a b being the coordinates of the first point x1 y1 being the coordinate of the second point and x2 y2 being the coordinates of the third point making up the first two elements of each row and then one making up the third column substituting the value of x1 x2 y1 and y2 obtained above and then applying a couple of row operations replacing the second row with the difference between the second row and the first row and the third row being replaced with the difference of the third row and the first row therefore the area of the triangle is equal to half of the determinant the first row remains the same the second row becomes ar minus a bs minus b and 0 and the third row becomes ar square minus a bs square minus b and 0 now we open up this determinant pivoting around the element in the first row and the third column so the value of the area of the triangle is equal to half of in brackets ar minus a times bs square minus b minus ar square minus a times bs minus b taking a b common in the first term the value of the area is equal to half of in brackets a b times r minus 1 times s square minus 1 again taking a b common in the second term in brackets we get r square minus 1 times s minus 1 now taking a b times r minus 1 times s minus 1 common the area of the triangle is equal to half of a b r minus 1 times s minus 1 times in brackets s plus 1 minus r plus 1 this simplifies resulting in half of a b times r minus 1 times s minus 1 times s minus r which is the required answer